Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I'm doing a get ready with you guys using a lot of products that are new. My aunt and I went to a recent MAC spring makeup event. These are pretty. They're like really soft. Yeah, they said they're supposed to be like big bags. Ooh, they're like really, they're like Play-Doh. Pick like that one or this one, I think. Oh, so sorry. Oh, I like that. I'm excited. I have a few things from the new line, but also a few staple MAC things that are just like holy grails that I cannot wait to get on my face, which I've already did, and FYI. All of these products were amazing. I'm blown out of the water, and I'm just telling you right off the bat, like this was a lot of fun to film this. And I created this really feminine, easy, perfect for spring or fall. I mean, you could really make this anything, just change the lip. Very versatile look, super pretty, did not take that long. And then you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned until the end because I am gonna do a check-in with you guys so we can reassess everything. I am using a new foundation today. And no, I'm not doing a full day wear test, but I'm gonna wear it for a few hours to see how it lasts and then let you know my thoughts. And before we do that, I just wanted to remind you guys that if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you do that. And also, if this is your first video, welcome. Maybe get a feel for me. Be sure to watch some of my other videos before making that decision to subscribe. I get it. Be sure to click that bell button because I am uploading twice a week now. Um, but the days kind of change. I try to always at least upload on a Wednesday. If something happens here and there, it will go up on a Thursday instead. And then Sundays have been a little harder to maintain, but I usually upload on a Sunday or a Monday. So if you click that bell, then you will just get a notification whenever a video goes live. Just click it and come hang out with me. We'll get to hang out, talk about makeup, talk about cats and happy things and everything you could possibly think of in between. And let's get on to my playing, testing, trying, and having fun with new makeup video. As per usual, I don't have a lot of time to mess around here, so I have an hour to get ready. I've primed my face using the usual, and I do have my skincare on. I have to be honest, I'm a little nervous about this. This is the Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. I have not had really great experience with Wander Beauty. I had one of their eyebrow products that I got rid of in my recent declutter video that just did absolutely nothing for anyone, and I threw it out because I couldn't even think of someone to give it to because it just simply didn't work. And I've also tried their peel-off mask, which got a lot of good reviews, but it was too hard to peel off. Like, I like a peel-off mask where you can peel it off in like one or two shots. That one I was picking at my face for like what felt like hours on end, so I'm a little nervous about this. It has like a concealer applicator, but I'm gonna tell you to be careful because if you pull it out too quickly, it splatters everywhere. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face and then to apply today, I'm gonna use a sponge because my skin has been really, really dry lately. I'm gonna take my damp beauty sponge and just tap this into the skin. Oh wow, this blends out really nicely. This is a really, this is a decent match for me. This is in the shade medium. This is a really, really nice. It's not cakey and it's not grabbing onto my dry patches, which is always an issue. I wanna put on another layer just for testing purposes. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. I just wanna see how this layers on top of itself. It's just like a really nice finish. It's not glowy, but it's not matte. It definitely gives a nice satin finish and it feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. A weightless fluid foundation formulated for full coverage with a natural radiant finish designed with a doe foot applicator to deliver seamless coverage wherever you wander. Enriched with niacinamide and lotus flower to improve skin radiance. I mean, my skin definitely looks radiant, I would say. It kind of like blurred my face. I really like this so far. Wow. Okay. Now, as far as concealer and brow products, I don't have anything new. So I am going to hop off camera. I'm going to conceal my face, throw on my brows, and then we'll take it from there. I put on concealer, bronzer, contour powder, and some translucent setting powder. I also did my brows, like I said I was gonna do, and I put that concealer on, which I think I just said I put concealer on like three times. So I'm gonna hop into this MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I'm just gonna take it on this flat little guy right here, and I'm just gonna pat this all over the lids. I've heard nothing but like great things about this product. 
And I was honestly anti this because I just use concealer to prime my lids. Let me bring you guys in. I keep forgetting to zoom this in every time I hit record again. And I just want to see if it's like as amazing as I've heard. It looks kind of cakey on my lids though. Can you see? I have really dry textured eye skin. So that looks a little flaky and dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the warmth of my finger and just pat over that. Maybe melt that into the skin a little bit better. This is the Extra Dimension Skin Finish. Hot Damn, is that the name of it? I don't know, it has a lot of names on this packaging, but I will put all the information needed down below. But I just, I love this new packaging. I love clear. It's just easy. It's nice, it's sophisticated. You can see what it is you're about to play with. I just, I really like their new packaging and this is super freaking pretty like a golden pink. I feel like this would be really pretty in the summer and really pretty on someone with a darker complexion as well. I feel like this is really versatile. And then this is a Glow Play blush. It's a cream blush in the shade Cheer Up. I don't own a lot of cream blushes. The only one that I own that I absolutely love and adore is the Honest Beauty one right here. So this is the one that you've seen me use several times. It is very well loved and disgusting. And then this is the new one, which now looking at it, these two look pretty similar. This one's a little bit brighter. This one is brighter, but there's a lot of foundation caked in there, so. It's a really pretty color. Wow, this is so soft. I wish you could like feel this through the screen. I'm gonna take this brush. I don't know, cause typically I just go in with my sponge, but I wanna see. Oh yeah, that's a really pretty color. Oh my God. And this applies so nice with a brush. Oh my God, I love this. I like this better than my honest one, the way it's applying. It blends out so nicely. I always bring my blush in like too far to the mouth. That looks so pretty. Oh my God, I love this blush. I wasn't gonna buy this and I'm really happy that I did. My aunt was like, buy it, it looks great. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so pink. But when they put it on my face, they didn't put any bronzer on my face. I was just like, so pink. This is the makeup that they did on me at MAC. I don't really love the eyeshadow. I kind of go a little lighter on the shadow. Something a little bit more faded. I just feel like this is like, just too much. I kind of want to see what this looks like on the lid. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush, put this into the crease of my eye. We'll go with like a really cute like baby doll look today. I feel like we're going to go for something like simple and girly now and I just want the whole face to tie in. Oh my god, I have never seen a cream blush blend in so nice in my life. I'm a little shocked. That is so pretty. I would just wear it like this, honestly. That went really well, so let's hop into the highlight. I think it's called Hot Damn Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I'm gonna take my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Nothing new here. I'm gonna take my favorite highlighting brush. Oh my God, that is so pretty. I'm gonna put this up here as well. Wow. Honestly, it looks a lot more intimidating in the pan than it applies. What do you guys think? Ooh. I love that. And it's kind of grabbing at the texture a little bit. I don't know if you can see. As for liners, I have two. I bought the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyeliner, MAC, Eye Coal, and Teddy, which is like not new. So maybe let's go in with Pillow Talk. And I don't have any new shadow, but I definitely want to build up that crease. So I'm going to just hop into my contour palette one more time. And I'm going to take the shade Cymbeline whenever I'm in a pinch and I don't know like what shadow to use or I'm just in a rush, which I'm, I'm always in a rush. I'll take any of these and I'll just build my crease out with this. I have been really enjoying this palette and I love that it's like an indie brand. It's not a well-known brand. It's just great for my eyes. It's great for my face. It's great to contour with. I just, I can't say enough good things about this palette. And I do apologize because it's not new, but I have never seen anyone on YouTube or on social media talk about this. So I feel like it's okay. <laughs> it's just so nice. So I'm just creating a little bit of depth underneath the eyes. I'm taking that Cymbeline shade and I'm just applying it with this brush underneath the eyes and then connecting it into the grease. Let's take the highlighter on our fingers and I'm just gonna stamp this over the lid. Oh wow, that is so pretty. Oh my God, if this does not scream like effortless spring makeup, I don't know what does. It's like a golden pink tone. Oh my God, I'm gonna lather this. I feel like this will be beautiful on the body when I have a tan. Can you see how pretty that is? Oh my God. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna open Pillow Talk. 
It's like insane, this Pillow Talk line that Charlotte Tilbury has come out with. She's made like 30 more Pillow Talk items to add. And I saw Charlotte Tilbury use this on Tati Westbrook, on Tati's YouTube channel. It's like a brownish purple burgundy. When Tati put it on, I was just like, wow. I need that liner. I'm just gonna draw a, a wing. Oh my God, and this looks so pretty with these MAC colors. I feel like I can't do makeup anymore without wearing a wing. Like I can't do a makeup look without throwing a wing on my face. It's kind of like getting stuck in my folds and I'm gonna stamp it underneath the lash line. And then I'm gonna connect the lower lash line to that wing. That is super pretty. I just, that color is so unique. I don't love, love, love the formula and just hear me out. I like a stiffer pencil, whether it be my liner, my lip liner. I just like something that isn't as creamy. If you like a creamy liner, you're absolutely going to love this. My other issue is that I feel like because it's so creamy and I have those hooded eyes, it's gonna transfer up top. I don't really have like an eyeshadow color that matches this. So I don't really know how to set it. I did have to go in and sharpen this a couple times just to draw on what I view as like a simple wing. So love the color. Definitely wanna see if it transfers. Wanna see how it wears the rest of the day. I definitely do wanna use that MAC liner. So I think I'm gonna use the dark teddy shade to just tight line my eyes a little bit. This is a makeup artist favorite that I have never owned. So I'm really excited to use it. And this is an example of a harder pencil. So this is a wooden pencil. Is the Charlotte Tilbury one wooden? It's like that waxy one. This is more of a wooden pencil. So I'm gonna use this to tight line my waterline. I'm going to do the inner corner as well. So I'm just gonna tight line the whole thing. This is my kind of formula. I like a stiffer pen. And then I think I'm just gonna go over that wing with this just to make it a little bit darker on the ends. Yeah, I like that better. One more time to brighten up the inner corner a little bit. You know, just put it where I need a little bit more light. I'm gonna put it on my Cupid's bow, just concentrate it a little bit. This is a really nice color for Cupid's bow. It just makes it look really juicy. See what I did there? I kind of just like put it right on that M. Maybelline Snaps Cara, and this is in the shade Black Cherry. It looks black. It's supposed to be like a purpley black, but it kind of just translates to black. So not as fun as I thought it was gonna be, but hey. Let's go ahead and let's move on to lips. I'm gonna take the MAC lip liner in the shade Strip Down. This is a really interesting color. It's kind of like a beigey brown. This is such a pretty color, I would wear this by itself. Elon Moskwa Anti-Matter Lipstick in the shade Cosmic. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. It's like a purpley pink. Wow, this glides on so nice. <gasps> so pretty, wow. I love this color. <laughs> Packing this with me to go, cause I'm definitely gonna be reapplying this. And then I just wanna throw on like a fun little gloss. This is half caked super glazed in the shade Slight Work. And I'm just gonna put it in the middle. It just like juice the lips up a little bit. Wow, that looks really good together. This is the finished makeup look. I definitely wanna check back in with you guys to let you know how everything is holding up. The true test is to see how makeup lasts and how it looks after a few hours of wear. I love this, I feel like it's so fresh it's so fun. It didn't take too long. This is definitely achievable, easy to do, and I did it in less than an hour. So I'm really happy with how this came out. This blush is just like absolutely killer. And I'm so happy that my aunt told me to buy it because I was like, I don't need it. I don't want it. And she was like, no, 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 you need that blush. I can't think of a product that I really didn't enjoy. I really love this. I feel like this is such a me makeup look, feminine, girly. I feel like this is like a Charlotte Tilbury look. Not to toot my own horn, but looking at myself in the monitor and in the mirror, I feel like I kind of just look like I belong in like a Charlotte Tilbury ad. Like, hello, Charlotte, do you need a new model for Pillow Talk? Because I'm free and I'm available. I'll cancel all my plans to be in 
a pillow talk ad. Okay, so that's enough. You can clearly tell that I'm really excited because I just keep talking, 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 and I will see you guys in a little bit. So as far as the foundation, I still really do like it. However, this is definitely a foundation that moves. So it's kind of like bunching around my mouth and on my chin. Those are my troubled areas where I tend to have drier skin and it kind of has settled into the fine lines around my eyes. It's settled into the lines on my head. So I just think that this isn't a long wearing foundation. It does not claim to be long wear. Airbrushes the skin initially, makes it look really uniformed, really nice, gives a decent amount of coverage but then as the day goes on it kind of breaks apart and moves a little bit and it really reminds me of the foundation that I wear to work on a daily basis it cosmetics CC plus cream if you own this or you're thinking about buying this and now you're hearing about this and you're like which one is better I would I would personally go with this one just because it has SPF 50 in it where this has no SPF at all this foundation is nice for five hours and then pass. Paint early paint pot. Do I think you need this? No. Do I think you could just use some concealer to put on your lids to prime? Yes. I think it gripped on to the foundation really nicely. My liner really did not transfer at all and I'm curious to know if it's because I use this or it's just because these eyeliners are really really good. So I will test that out and figure out what the deal is. As far as the lipstick, I like the color, but I liked it way more when I first put it on. It kind of leaves a powdery finish, and if you've been with me for a while now, you guys know I don't really like a powdery lip. It's just, I like either something that's hydrating or matte without that powder finish. It's just not my favorite. However, I did leave not loving this and ended up really, really loving this. This is a super glazed half cake, the lip gloss that I applied. It's really juicy and I love the applicator. I love that it's so skinny. You can like really get in there and you can really line your lips with it. And it just, it feels really nice and it gives a nice sheen. Honestly, I don't think you guys really need this highlight. Like I really don't think this is anything groundbreaking. It's average. I think it looks way prettier in the pan than it translates on the skin, but I am gonna rock this in the summer. I would love to see this on a darker skin tone. Honestly, I feel like this would do wonders for someone with a darker complexion than myself. I think if you buy anything from MAC that I mentioned in this video, it is this blush. I just wish you could feel the formula. I wish you could feel how smooth and buttery this is. And it stayed on my cheeks. Like I did not apply any blush all day long. And blush is usually the first thing to move away from my face. And it is there and it is living its best life. Strip down lip liner. I do really like that. I don't think you need it. It really reminds me of the NYX Cosmetics, the shade London, that lip liner. So you can get that for a quarter of the price of this one or maybe half. I'm not sure how much these are. I think the next one, I think the next ones are like three or four dollars. These I think are like, if I had to guess 18, I don't know. So even though I, I flipped on a couple products, I'm gonna continue to try them out. I will include them at the end of the month in this month's roundup video. I'm not disappointed in anything that I tried today. There is not one thing in front of me that I absolutely hate. Maybe just a couple things here and there that I don't think you necessarily need. So I had a great time as always. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. What do you think about any of these products? Do you own any of them? Do you want to go buy any of them? Anything you guys want to talk about, I would love to hear from you. I love hearing from you guys. And any questions, any requests, any videos that you want me to create for you, please be sure to let me know. I would love to make them a priority and get them done for you. Like I said, if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you do it and also click the bell button before you leave. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mm -hmm.